bear with me, bear with me, bear with me while I put out the information. Native Speakers Academy is going live. As soon as I copy and paste the URL into place. NSA is alive. Counting down 30 seconds to broadcast. Counting down 30 seconds to broadcast. NSC is going live. Right now. That's it. So, welcome to another one of Native Speakers Academy's in between session sessions where I will be taking time out from my already busy schedule to share some information with students. So, um, I had a quick cancellation, so that's an opportunity for me to get things back on track in my office and get things back organized. Um, as an update for my students, I'm switching around some of the things that I'm doing. Um, oh, if you're new to this, Native Speakers Academy is a small private language school based in central Slovakia. We do two things. We teach the English language and we offer life coaching. So the English language helps with the internal skills, the life coaching with the external skills. Back on point. So I've just switched the online university that I was uh, studying at. And let me give you a bit of background information on this. Um, the world has changed. The old format of you need to go to a state-run institution in order to give yourself the important piece of paper to get the job you need, well, it's not like that anymore. We've moved on. Now with the technology cheap and available to everybody, independent people are setting up their own small private universities online and you can link up to these and get the skills that you need to get, get the information that you need to get and meet up with like-minded entrepreneurs and motivated individuals and just get on with life. Hey, the traditional straight state university is great if you want to have a party, but um, there comes a time when you have to raise your game. You have to raise you got to raise the bar. You've got to reach for a higher level. So, um, so not only are the uh, some of the bigger universities offering free courses right now, like the MOOCs, the massive open online courses, and these are the big universities are offering these. Not only are they offering these, but the independent universities are offering everything. That, that you you could want as far as I can work out, especially if you're interested in developing your own business, you're interested in picking up skills, learning how the technology works, getting more information about marketing. Um, it's endless, really. So I want to recommend that I I want to tell you that I started with the Breathe University online, which is run by a group of people connected with motivational coach. Eric Thomas. And what I found with that online university was they provided a lot of skills developed with personal motivation, but it pretty much ended there. There was nothing really much related to how to get your business to develop beyond that. And so um, 
the fuel was good to run the fire for a month or two, but not much more than that. So um, they're good at what they do, but it's not what everybody needs. And also their organization could do with a little bit of restructuring because there are some people in some positions that are just making something a mess for them. Sorry, but that's the truth. And that's my direct experience of it. Also, I was providing a lot of input for them. I was providing a lot of content for them. And what was coming back was was minimal. And it was great for for, for me to, to have the experience of producing that content. But um, let's just say there wasn't any kind of really reciprocal agreement happening. Then, that's it. So I look to move on. So now I'm trying a new online university. It's in the background here. It's uh, Freedom University, which was recommended by my good friend Rudy Martinez at Rudy's Health and Fitness dot com um, out there in California. So thank you very much for the recommendation. I was looking at what they provide online and uh, the Freedom University. And you, of course, you have to pay a certain amount to join these universities, but um, you got to run through a basic value system. My value system is if it's something you're going to use every day, if it's something you're going to integrate into your business every day, then it will pay itself back. And the basic price for joining is only 30 euro. 30 euro? 30 dollars? 30 something a month. And so that works out at about a dollar a day. And I think it's something that I am going to use more than once a day. So I think that's um, practical. And they also hopefully have other groups through their Facebook that I can join in and link into and um, hopefully develop some contacts and networks out of that. Anyway, uh, I wanted to run through what uh, Freedom University is actually offering with its online platform here. And so if I just scan through it quickly, this is for me as much as, as it is for you, my students out there. So we've got uh, recently added, we've got memberships and coaching. This is how to uh, boost your productivity in these areas. We've got products and courses, traffic and marketing, sales and conversion, personal development and motivation, branding and positioning, productivity and managing, tech, uh, Freedom Fest videos, complete training courses, and coming soon again. So there seems to be a lot of content there. And um, it's pretty amazing with the technology. I mean, I was just looking at some Facebook sites where Alex Jones um, just posted a live video and I'm here in Slovakia and I get to see him standing giving a live speech in somewhere in the United States. Not sure exactly where that is. And before that, I was watching uh, Garth Brooks, a uh, country singer, doing a Facebook Live post where he was talking about the preparation for his concerts and giving you some behind the scenes look at his work at the concerts and in the studio. And so the technology is giving us another dimension. It's giving us a new dimension to the way we work, which, which is something we need. And as I said earlier, because the technology now is becoming more affordable for everybody, everybody can get a piece of the pie. And so this is going to create a lot of competition and hopefully the competition is going to create quality as a result. So that's uh, Freedom U, that's Ryan Lee's university. Uh, other universities that might be worth checking out if you're out there, you might want to check out Platform University, very business orientated. Uh, you might want to check out Allison.com, a lot of universities where you can pick up qualifications that can help you when you're searching for work. Now, again, you don't even have to go to these universities uh, to pick up quality information because of things like podcasts now. The same way that the internet and YouTube basically killed the television, podcasts have killed the radio because you can find exactly what you want exactly when you want it. And that's what we all need, right? Things in real time where we need them 
when we need them. So I want to recommend those. I'm going to recommend those universities. So that was um, Breathe University if you're looking for motivation, Freedom U if you're looking for business development, Platform U if you're looking for more professional development, and Allison.com if you're looking for general certificates and skills. Now there's many more. You can probably add some more to this if you can think of something that I've missed or add something into it then please add it in the comments below the video. Native Speakers Academy on air is an opportunity for me to answer students questions. It's also an opportunity for me to share some of the behind the scenes information with the students. So we're halfway through a summer course right now and if I think back to the work that we've been doing so far. We've been doing a lot of group work based on conversation. Now, one of the things that's, that's interesting is that students always want to talk. They always want to present information. And presenting information, the conversation part is, the speaking part of the conversation is output. Now output, you can only output if you've got already good input in. And so students are always looking for opportunities to output, but they don't realize you need good input in order to output. So that's something to think about. You've got to feed the brain if you want something cognizant and coherent to, to verbalize um, and to create interesting debate and discussion. So what I've been working on is uh, giving a little bit of vocabulary, short introductory exercises, and then working in small groups and then feeding back into the whole group with uh, the results of debates and discussions. It's worked relatively well. Um, I got to bite my tongue sometimes because I've got opinions about the subjects and my opinion is not really that important. I am there just to facilitate and provide a fertile environment for, for the discussion. So what else do you need to think about when working with uh, groups is maybe mixing the people up regularly so that they, are, they don't have the same partners and not working with the same people all the time. Um, Give them, giving them an opportunity to explore each other's ideas and bounce their ideas off each other and see what, uh, see what can feed back. Um, classic problem is that when teachers ask students if they're satisfied with the course, if there's anything that they want to change, the students very often themselves don't know what they want. So it often doesn't get very far when we work on, um, we work on the basis of the fact that we can provide for the students exactly what they want if we ask them what they want first because they as I said very often they don't know they're really not sure uh, what else has been going on I've been doing quite a lot of work on the internet through Skype sessions recently um, working on maybe taking the Skype sessions and doing a live version of the Skype sessions that might be uh, interesting. It might be possible to do a live question and answer session. Again, if you've got any questions about teaching, if you've got any questions about language, the English language, uh, its use, uh, formal or informal, um, if you've got any questions about structure and grammar, if you've got any questions about um, maybe which kind of exams you want to take in the future. Um, I can do a little bit of a presentation for you on which exams might be the best exams for you to take. And, and in essence, there's, there's, only, there's only three ways to go. There are more types of exams, but I wouldn't recommend them. Um, only three ways to go. You got your Cambridge certificates, your CAE, your FCE, your CPE and I think there's PET and CAT as well. Um, those are recognized worldwide and are very good exams in my opinion because they're progressive. They take you in steps so they improve your skills. Then you've got the TEFL which is um, the American 
English examination, which is good if you want to go to a university that's affiliated with an American university or you want to go to America. And then there's IELTS, the international system that comes from Britain. And that's good if you want to go to a university that's affiliated with a British university or you want to go to a university in Britain or you want to work in Britain. So basically you need to know what you want to do in the future in order to choose the right kind of exam. In general, if you don't want to, if you don't know what you want to do, then you want to choose the FCE, the first certificate in English, and have that as your goal and target, and then branch out from there. But um, universities always give good advice on what students need to, um, what qualification students need, and how they need to prepare. There's also uh, there's also city and guilds exams, but the last time there was one of those exams here, the last time I heard about it, it was a complete mess, and I wouldn't recommend that to anyone at all, because nobody really knows what they're useful for. Um, useful for making money from for somebody somewhere of course but uh, there you go oh the other good thing about cambridge exams is that they're valid your entire life if you do the tefl or the ielts then you have to do them again after a period of two to three years so um, that's the basic information about exams um, it's interesting that although exams and systems seem to vary slightly from country to country. There does appear to be one complete world university system right now, where you can basically jump from any university, any course in a university, to a similar course in any other university in any other country, which would suggest that there is a universal university system that is in place now around the world. So um, perhaps we're all closer together than we really think we are. Um, my own experiences at university, you don't really want to know about that because I'm not the university kind of person. Um, I like to go my own way, have my own experiences, and learn from them, let's just say. Learning from other people's experiences, well, you can learn from other people's mistakes, but it's probably better just to learn from your own and go down your own road. So, so I shared information already about um, different online universities, a little bit of information about exams, um, exams. You know, life itself is is the only important exam, and. Um, A lot of the great things, the best things in life, don't, they're never really tested. I, I've written an article about this. I'm not going to go into it here because I don't want to bore you. But uh, if you go to the website, which is on the screen somewhere up there, which is nsa-slovakia.com, then um, there's a search box at the top of the page. If you search the case for the abolition of tests, you will find my article where I lay out all the reasons why there should be no tests in schools. Yes, I do believe there should be no tests in schools that are forced. If a student wants to take a test, then that's great. They can take the test when they're ready, but it definitely shouldn't be forced on them. Why? What's the point? And I think I lay out a pretty good case for why there shouldn't be any testing in schools. I'm not going to repeat it here, but... Um, it's a clear-cut case with references added to it to support my opinions. And to support the facts as well. It's not just opinion. It's also fact. What else has been happening? Um, you might be able to hear I'm losing my voice a little bit. Um, that's why I haven't done a, an on-air live session in the last few days. I've been just trying to conserve and preserve my energy for other things um, and that's about all I want to share with with people um, 
I'm enjoying very much using the technology, so if you want to chime in with questions about grammar or anything else, then I will be very happy to get back to you and and debate or discuss anything with you. If you're a teacher and you want to talk about methodology, if you want to talk about classroom management, we can go through that as well because I do have uh, quite an extensive history working for different establishments and I do know what it is like inside of a traditional classroom. Even though I now run my own school because I don't want to be in a traditional classroom, um, you can't escape the fact that those things are there. Um, so if you're a teacher and you got some questions about grammar, I'll be happy to answer them. If you're doing a university course and are looking for ideas for further development for your students, I'll be happy to discuss that with you. If you are a parent and you don't know what the best choice is for your children, then we can discuss how you can plan your future and keep all of the doors open for the opportunities for your children in the future. So there are lots of things that we can discuss and there are lots of ways that uh, hopefully I can help you and uh, point you in the right direction. Don't want to waste your time. Thank you very much for tuning in. Remember that um, you can leave a comment under the video and I will deal with any questions you have in the next video. I look forward to catching up with my summer school students tomorrow and for a little bit nicer weather as it's turned and become rainy and cold here. So a um, little bit of sunshine wouldn't be a miss. Thanks very much for tuning in and um, that's it for today. Got to finish. Got to turn stuff off. Got to get out of here. Gotta get home.